What's good, y'all? <laughs> Here I am back with another fire voiceover. The only reason I dropped this at the beginning of my video is because, hey, man, your boy be having information, but you got to like, comment, subscribe. That way, you'll know the information when I get the information. Follow my Instagram, I am KB Fool. I am KB F O O L. All right? Follow that. Hit me up. I'll put y'all on game. They just dropped these panda highs. And uh, you missed it because you don't get with your boy. But here go the video. What's up now? This is another episode of Kicks with KB. We're going to get straight into it today. Now, it's been a lot of suspicious shoe activity lately, okay? Now, it's a lot of shoes that I missed on because everybody knows that I like to get my shoes for retail. They're on StockX, but they're not that expensive, right? But I'm scared, man. I'm scared to buy shoes off of StockX. Now, the only reason I'm scared to buy sh shoes off of StockX is because the replicas that are coming out are ridiculously good. Now, if you buy replicas, that's cool. That's none of my business. Great for you, okay? It works for what you got, what you got going, what you want, the things that you like. That's for you. That's not for me. I like my shoes to come from Nike. Okay? Now, I had to pause the tape for a second. The only reason I paused it is because we started talking about replicas. And I just felt like I should tell y'all, man, if that's your thing, let that be your thing. All right? I understand. You know, everybody doesn't want to spend two, three, four hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. So, if replicas is your thing, let that be your thing, man. You don't have to tell nobody that it is. You don't have to do nothing extra. If you do want to tell people that that is what you're doing, that's also fine. You feel me? Now, I just want you to be yourself at the end of the day. Make sure you're being you. You don't have to worry about the next man, what the next man got going on, the next man pairs of shoes, the next man's shirt, his Supreme, his whatever. You don't have to worry about that. If reps is what you're doing, then do that. All right? Now, I do not rock with the people that are out here selling replicas for Nike factory shoes. Now, that I don't rock with, all right? So, if you're doing that, quit doing that, all right? You're messing up the shoe game for everybody. The people that are wearing reps, that are respectable, that are doing their thing, that's their lane, that's what they like, that's what they love. They're not ashamed of it. They're doing their own stuff. You're messing up that for them. And then you're coming over into people like me that I want a Nike factory shoe, all right? It don't matter. That's just what I like. That's what I work hard for. I want a Nike factory shoe. You're taking us and you're making us afraid to get into anything because of the way you're pushing these replicas and this other stuff into that lane man let it stand its own lane all right now the biggest thing i want you guys to take away from this piece while i broke it down is be yourself if reps is you that's your thing cool and wear them now them replicas looking good i ain't gonna lie to y'all they looking real good but mm, that's not for me man that's not for kicks with kb all right, I'm going to stick with what I like, stick with what I love. Don't ever let another man push your pockets into doing something that you don't want to do. So if you don't want to spend two, 200, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I looked on online the other night just to check on some shoe, some shoe prices. My lady's got some shoes in here that's $1,000. She, got, I think she got like two pairs of shoes in there that went up to $1,000. You know what I'm saying? So... Don't let anybody push you into that if that's not what you want to do with your money. Okay, you worked for it, you worked hard for it. Buy what you want, bro. Buy what you want. They are giving out StockX tags with replicas. So, I've also been hearing about individuals that have been getting shoes from StockX they've been getting reps and they later find out that they're reps. They would later find out that they're not a real shoe straight from whatever factor it is. Nike uses wherever they use their factors at. All right. Now, I don't know. I don't know. They got some dunks on there that are pretty much close to retail. Um, they got a lot of stuff on there that's really, really close to retail right now because they're pumping out. Hey man, Nike is pumping, pumping, pumping. All right. So because Nike is pumping so much stuff out, some of these colors are not hits, okay? Now, for me, some of these colors are hits because I got a lot of stuff that I can wear with them. I can mix them with this, mix them with that, put it here, put it there. It's a shoe that I'm going to wear. It's, I'm not, 
I'm not tripping on sitting in my closet just having it to have it. I'm not tripping on, you know, letting the re the resale price go up and up and up. That's not my thing, like I tell y'all. Not yet, anyway. I might get into it. We'll see. But I'm scared to buy these shoes off of StockX. Now, I know for a fact that GOAT, I've seen some shoes come in from GOAT. They've been legit, all right? I've seen a lot of shoes come in from the GOAT app that have been legit. Uh, I'm not sure what the process is for StockX as far as checking these shoes, but uh, I don't know, man. I'm worried. Um, I've definitely been seeing a lot of other YouTubers. I looked. Something just told me to go and check out what they've been talking about as far as StockX, and uh, I don't know. I don't think it's something that we're going to be able to get into. We're going to keep moving right along, though. Anywho, those Mocha Women 3s. All right. Now, how do y'all feel about a dude buying women's shoes? Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Now, them shoes are fired. My lady seems to think that they're ugly. She says that there's a lot of white. It's a blocky shoe already. So that much white on the shoe with just a little bit of pink, a little bit of brown, it's like that. But for me, I know that I got a lot of stuff that I'm going to put with that shoe that's going to bring in all them colors. So it really won't matter that much. I don't see the problem by women's shoes, okay? It doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to be very secure in putting that shoe on my feet because I think it's a fire shoe. Now, if you take a look at it, it's a lot of white. I think that's the biggest problem that most people are having is that top piece of leather is so much white. Now, I am digging that cream bottom. I was hoping that they were going to put some of that cream on top, but they did not end up putting that cream on top, which is cool. But I was thinking about dropping them pink laces in there, boy, and uh, cutting up a little bit. I think that would be a hit pretty much on foot, especially for me. I have a larger shoe size. It's not too big, 10 and a half, 11. When you get into like 12, 13, 14, that's when them shoes start to look humongous, all right? So my feet are not that big, so I'm not worried about how they're going to look on feet. I think we're going to have a hit with them. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hold on right quick. Yo, so here they go. We were talking about them a second ago, and I was like, man, I might as well pull them out to show these people. I might as well, you know, drop drop a picture. My girls were talking to me about dropping pictures, so that way, you know, y'all can see the shoes and not just me talking about them and blah, 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 blah. But she's good. That's that's my number one critic, all right? So she is helping me get better and better and better and better at doing these videos. I think I'm starting to kill them, but we're going to keep going higher and higher and higher, all right? So here they are, the top. So much white, all right? She says this is an ugly shoe, but the reason she said it's ugly is because all of that white at the top. Now, the old mochas was really just all of that white with the brown on the bottom, but I'm like, mm, I like that hit of pink, man. I think I can come through with some pink laces, the same color, and just kill this shoe. Hopefully, if you're listening, Nike, Jordan, please put those pink laces in the shoe. That way they for sure, for sure, for sure go with the shoe. And I don't have to search and look and find some pink laces to go with my shoes. Okay? I would really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Because I'm going to kill these whenever they're supposed to come out. And when they do come out, I'm probably going to wait until the next summer and bring mine out. So they'll be brand new for everybody. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I wait at least a year or two to wear some of my shoes just because I know they hit. And I try not to abuse them and overuse them, all right? Y'all y'all should do the same thing. Now, the bottom is like that cream color, all right? It's that same cream color that they're putting on a lot of the vintage look shoes. And I'm digging it, okay? I'm definitely digging it. What I'm wanting from them is everybody knows that on the bottom of a three, you got that Jordan sign. It just says Jordan, all right? It's not really a sign, but... Please put the pink on that. Oh, my goodness. If you put the pink on that, I think that that is going to be a hit. All right? And then if you backdoor, put the pink on the tongue, on the Jordan symbol, and then put the pink on the back on the Nike Air. Woo, boy. All right? Now, I like these voiceovers just because it's cool. It makes me feel like I'm like I'm an animator, like I'm in a, like I'm in a video or a movie or something crazy. All right? I think it is fire when I do these. But... I'm still trying to get better and better at doing this. So comment down below if you like these. If not, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Woo. All right, here I go. I'm coming back right now. That's all we got for this video, all right? I'm about to get up out of here because I got to get a haircut. I am tired of wearing hats because 
my hair looks terrible right now. All right, this beard is scraggling and rough, but my boy Ro Timmy gonna get me right. All right, now like, comment, subscribe. If you like, comment, and subscribe, mostly comment, but like and subscribe for sure, for sure. But if you comment, then I could put you on some game because there are some women's high dunk pandas that are about to drop in like, like 10 minutes, but you won't know that because you don't follow me and you don't hit me up. So I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video. Can't say I didn't tell you. You'll see it. It's about to drop on Nike in a minute. Get with your boy. Peace.